So I promised in the last video to give you some alternatives to Surge when it comes to hosting your web page. Uh, one of the technologies that's really popular right now is to use Amazon's uh, Amazon Web Services. They have a number of different services when it comes to hosting, but for our sakes, we're hosting a static web page. Uh, and they have a simple static storage service, aka S3. Without going too in depth, uh, you upload your files and they serve them for you. They provide another service which you can obtain from other providers called CloudFront. Uh, this is a CDN service or a content delivery network service. Uh, the idea being that instead of hosting your stack files off of a single computer, located somewhere geographically, they distribute your files to computers all across the world. And the benefit of this is that there's some latency or lag associated with loading a static web page because of the time it takes to round trip your uh, HTTP communication between uh, visitors of your website and your hosting computers. Um, so that network latency is something that a CDN service re helps to reduce. Uh, this is something that is minutia and it's not something you really need to worry about. So to give you some other options besides using Amazon's S3 service directly, another service provider is GitHub Pages, who similar to Surge provide free hosting. Um, the idea being that they also provide you uh, hosting for your version control of your of your project's files. So not only do you benefit from them serving your files for you, but they also provide, of course, their GitHub repository management. Um, and by giving you GitHub repository management, uh, you can indicate which version of your files you want to be hosted and served for you. So you can iteratively work on your web pages. Um, there's other services uh, besides GitHub for doing this type of source code management or version control. Another example is Bitbucket, who are a product of Atlassian. Next video, I'll explain a little bit about how to obtain a domain name uh, if you want to have a custom domain, and also uh, a little bit about how to configure your custom domain name so that you can host your own website at the domain name that you've bought. Thanks guys, talk to you soon. I forgot to add, if you liked the content you saw here and want to learn a little bit more about web technologies, feel free to subscribe. And if there are technologies or content that you want to learn about uh, and have me explain, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to get around to them with the next video. Thanks.